Hey fellow explorers, or adventurers, or pirates of the Caribbean, it's Ami Mario. Tonight we were not able to find another three great players to play against on Great Western Trail, so here I am again on Maracaibo. I actually... I... Um... I recorded a video recently about Maracaibo and about Maracaibo strategy. Uh, it got a bit of attention, people got interested into it, I got a few comments, I got people asking me why I was saying some things, why the game did work in the way that I think it's working. And you know what, I feel like playing a bit more Maracaibo might show people what I really think about the game. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go on very hard mode, Jan, but I'm going to start playing against Jan on the basic setup. The basic setup is the easiest one, it's the one that I'm pretty confident I'm never going to lose uh, in before I'm going to lose tonight, but yeah, I'm pretty confident I have very close to 100% um, chances of victory. So I uh, will go through that, and I will explain each and every choice that I'm going to take, so that you guys might get a good idea of what I think it looks like to play against John on this mode. So it's going to be basic, and let's see what I can get. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Remember, the main thing that is important is to hit cities, to contest John on unlocks, thanks to cities, and to contest John on quests and on exploring. That's pretty much the only thing that matters when playing on the basic scenario. So let's just take a quick look at the cities. We got Santo Domingo with the two steps, Puerto Plata, I will discard your hand, get four coins, and get one point per combat token. We got Maracaibo, which we are going to hit um, open. Then there's Port Royal, which is interesting. This one is actually one of the best ways to play your cards thanks to village actions, because you're also going to discard a token from your boat. Then there's Cartagena, which is of course the best. It's pretty good that it's down here. It's hard to rely too much on hitting it though, since uh, while we are sure that we can hit Santo Domingo often enough, because it's early in the loop and normally we're the starting player. Cartagena is a bit trickier because it depends a lot on what Jan is going to do. Then there's Puerto Cabezas. Um, Puerto Cabezas with two of these icons and this quest over here it's a quest that i would like to contest this one is also pretty good because it does cost only one combat point so it's very easy and forgiving on your hand the next quest that is going to be out is another easy one and then down here we have i get a mono quests um it's three quests as always those two require the same icons, this one requires different icons. It's normally a bit difficult to try to hit two in a row with the same icons, but I mean, it's still doable, doable I think. Uh, other than that, yeah, my plan is to hit cities, try to slow down a bit in this area so that Jan will be able to hit spot 20 before me. Even though if I hit Cartagena, I'm also happy to hit a spot 20 since Cartagena has my bases covered uh, regarding unlocks no money so I'll be pretty happy with that um, so let's start by checking our hand shall we hey just Zomba welcome to the chat just Zomba is a friend of mine of my uh, gaming association I haven't seen him in a while but Welcome to the chat, if you want to stay with that. I don't know if you know Maracaibo, I think you don't. But if you do, just say something and I will reply to you. 
So we have two sailors, a mercenary, a pioneer, a master builder, a harbor, a conquer village, and another pioneer. Pioneers are the best, but what I'm actually looking at is not the name in the cards, but the icons as always. I'm going to keep all the corn cards. I'm going to keep one sugar card to be able to hit Maracaibo, and I'm going to pretty much discard everything else. Unless I'm going to need some icons, and I do because of this quest, so I might actually try to save them. I do love the music, by the way. I really love the, the music that can be played on Maracaibo. So, we are going to discard... Hmm, that is a problem. Because these two cards does have them, but... I actually would like to discard them. And I'm not sure I'm going to hit that one. It's full over here, of course, but still... Do I have any 3 cube special? I don't. I would probably just play a Pioneer by the end of the round. So yeah, I'm just going to discard 1, 2... And probably 3. Yes, I think that's a good plan. I got plenty of corn, and I'm fine with that. As far as... Oh yeah, I have to plan one card, and he's probably going to be this Pioneer here. Pioneer is just pretty good all around, and with Santo Domingo getting the Explorer steps, I think it's a pretty safe bet to keep it over there. So let's pl just plan that way, that guy. Then there's Glory and Wealth. Wealth is the one that I don't really like because of all the synergy tokens that are required. Glory is not really that easy in other scenarios, but it's pretty easy when you when you have some confidence that you can hit Maracaibo often enough, and I do have it, so I would just take glory then I will just start on Santo Domingo and get a few explorer step on the way I'm going to discard this guy since I probably won't be using it even though I might need the icon I'm just going to discard a conquer village conquer village is a card that I won't be playing anytime soon I'm starting with uh, that unlock because I think in a vacuum it's easily the best one. I'm going to take two steps down here. I know it's only two points, it's not much, but I'm when I'm playing against Hard John on basic setup, I just try to go very fast and I don't need many coins because I won't get many chances to play many cards. I'm just going to take a blind draw, and that's a good one actually. So, you see why it's also very important to hit cities. Here, we basically denied Jan 1 unlock, which is pretty good, you know? Denying Jan unlocks is always pretty good. She's going to get income from cards, of course, but she will gain a lot more points if you let her get unlocks. It's just one point per card, while unlocks are going to be two points each. So, it's just so good to contest her on cities early on then i'm going to hit maracaibo maracaibo i'm actually probably going to discard the other pioneer i don't think i really need two pioneers in this game i don't think and getting this icon might be useful later on even though hmm i mean that's going to be a long time and i might actually play the second pioneer so Scrap that, I'm going to discard the Innkeeper. Innkeeper is a card that I, I'm never playing when I'm playing on a basic scenario, but in general I think it's not really good. Let's take an action. I'm going to basically combat for uh, the nation that does have the most um, points. Here it's either England or France, because my plan is just to place down one cube to get four coins at the start of the game. And I just take a look, because there's... Michel de Grammont, which is actually a pretty decent card. The problem is that I'm probably not going to be able to play her anytime soon. I mean, I might as well try. So let's go with friends. We got four points, we don't need any extra one. So that's it. I'm just going to place down a cube. On the four city spot. 
that's the most valuable at the start and in general it's one of the most useful ones but I like this one quite a bit actually so now what are we going to take Misha de Ramon I don't think there's any guarantee that I'm going to take it but if I will be able to stop on Cartagena I might actually be able to there's so much corn I'm not really afraid to run out of it and playing Michel de Gramont in between rounds will be will be pretty good. I love them because two coins and two points is very good income for ten coins at the start of the game. But maybe it's just better to take corn. And if I have like the problem is what if Jan is going to go to Cartagena? That's my worst the worst case scenario, alright? I I think I'm just taking this one at that point. And I'd rather get some more corn. So yeah, let's plan for the worst case scenario. Even the ship builder is not actually bad because I might go here. I, I think I prefer to take a quest, but I might go over there. I mean this icon here is not very common. So I don't think I'm going to hit this one anytime soon. It's going to take a while, probably. But I'm going to need them at some point. It's actually a hard choice. I, I can justify each and every pick in this game. I think they are all, all very justifiable. I think they can all be pretty decent. Um, the ship builder has a decent upside later on. Michel de Gramont has the higher upside, while the smuggler and the quest hunter are just like safe picks. I think I'm going to take the ship builder. Two spaces upper, so she's going to Port Royal. All good, so we're going to Cartagena. This was like the best case scenario for us. I mean, the best one would be if she moved once to go to Maracaibo, but that's a bit unlikely. There are way more cards that let her move two times. So I'm going to Cartagena, I'm going to discard one of them, uh, it's, again it's pretty much the same. Then I'm going to unlock, actually let me take a look at over here, because there's another one of these guys. So I can actually go over here and get this reward. Unless Jan moves by one. It's always very tricky. I think I'm going to take this one, but I'm going to unlock um, the extra combat action. And I'm going to draw to reserve a card to draw Michelle if I really need to. If everything goes according to the plan. I mean, of course... Unlocking this extraction is good pretty much regardless. So I'm going to be happy with it any anyway. So one space is upper, she's going here, she's going to explore twice. Alrighty. So if I'm able to play at this point I don't think I'm going to play Michelle. Which is again alright. It's not incredibly good. I'm going to play the um, Pioneer and then I'm going to take uh, three extra steps to get this one. Cheese. Pretty decent plan if you ask me. I'm going to take the quest. One point, five coins, the first quest. It's going to be needed for our career card. It's just good because we're going to contest John. We got two unlocks out of this loop, which is, again, pretty decent. I got good icons. I, I think I'm all set for a pretty good game. I have probably to say goodbye to Michel de Gramont, but that's fine. Two spaces upper. Righty O. Alright. So Jean took Michel, so we got not many options now. Again, I'm not going to explore because I want to take three steps. I'm just going to fight. I know I have like only one combat point, but I mean, whatever. It's still alright. Like, combating for France here is fine ish, I think. We can place down one cube. 
or we can spend a combat point. Spending a combat co point here is a bit tricky because we know that this one is going to come out and it's going to be on spot 7. But I might actually leave it there for Jan. I might leave it there for Jan. So I might as well just take this one and get more coins. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> I try to be... What? All right. I'm not planning on getting any of these cards right now. So I'm fine as it is, I think. Yeah. Send the turn. Jan is going to explore again, but that's still good because she won't be taking away my... I mean, again, the most important thing is in this game, playing against Jan, is contest her. I think I've said it once or twice. Contest her on... On quests, exploration, and unlocks. Uh, yeah, this is maybe going to make it a bit rough. Also, the prestige buildings are crazy bad as of now. Oh, I did miscount. It's on six. And the other one is way better. Yeah. Uh, th this might come back and bite us. This one is the best possible one to get early on. And we're not going to be able to take it because we spend one combat points but oh well I mean you do what you can with what you have so we're just going to stick with our original plan go there not discard one of these oh I think going for the extra hand is good take the action let's go there And now France has got two cubes placed down and no other nation has any, so I think I'm still going to take France. Often enough, you want to, you know, piggyback on uh, Jean's um, efforts on another track with these three steps. But in this game, Jean is actually not doing anything combo-wise. So I might as well take that and be happy with it. I'm going to draw this guy. And I am probably just going to go for blind rows because I'm going to need. I always forget the name of this thing. I call it spectacle, but it's not a spectacle. What's the name of this thing, guys? Um, yeah, I keep forgetting that. But I don't need any of those. I already have one sugar for Maracaibo. I already have one corn, and I don't need any of those icons. So I'm just going to go for two blind rows in a row. This one is not good. This one is not good, so, all good. Two spaces upper, all right, all right. Let's go and combat again. This time I'm going to discard, yeah, I mean, that's probably the same. I think there's a higher chance that I'm going to play this one. Let's go for this guy. Unlock the extra big hand. And let's take the action. Now it's minus two, which is pretty bad. So what we're going to do instead is probably combating a bit for England at this point. Yeah, I think England does make some sense. It's not great here, but I have plenty of coins. And by doing so, I going to take a few steps Doo -doo -doo. I'm already getting points I think let's place down another cube because why not I'm definitely never playing an assistant over there so good I'm going to take Jacques Watt. And I'm going to play her. That's actually a very good draw. 
Be nice to take the throw too. Say there is not, but I mean, I'm already fine. So she's going to stop there. Which again is a bit unfortunate. I don't need more of these though. There's one more. Okay. I'm just going to stop on Cartagena. It's unfortunate I really wanted this tile, but I cannot get it, so might as well go ahead and do what I can with what I have. Do -do 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 -do. Smuggler is going away. After that, let's start get some points. Draw cards, and it's going to be this guy. Jan still goes one space only, so she's going to go to Maracaibo and not place down anything, which is amazingly good. And if we're lucky again, she might go to Cartagena with her next two steps, because she won't be taking this tile at this point, I don't think. So just go there. Let's leave her. It's going to be this one. Do, 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 do the first one of these in action. I th I really think I'm going to play Jacquot, right? She's too good. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I may actually go straight up here if John passes me. Or I can just get one combo point, which is also pretty decent. So... Still need one combat token, right? Yeah. So we are going to discard those two cards. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate because this one is a corn, but I'm again pretty happy with that. I don't need any of those, so I'm just going to go for a blind draw again. I actually do really need some corn at this point. Hopefully we're going to get some, otherwise we will have to reserve some cards. And it looks like that's going to be the case. One Martyr, well that's alright. Two, it's Upper. It's a bit of a bummer because she's going to be the first one to move on the next loop, but... That is AK. I think I might take three steps down here. I'm not going to get anytime soon these two items. So I might as well just stop down here and then try to get it. I think it's a reasonable choice. I don't really want to combat too much right now. Even though my career card is asking me to reach 9, right? And I want to do that. But I don't think that now is a good time to do that. Oh, there's also another very good one. So I'm, I'm definitely going to save my combo points, I think. Even though I might not need all those unlocks. Let's see. So if I move by three, or I can just move four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a bit tricky. Three, then three, then one, two, three, four, five. It's a bit tricky. Well, we're going to go here for sure. But without any synergy. I mean, they're tied at most, so I, I think I'm going to combat. For France? For England, maybe? Ha! That's a bit unlucky. Um, I think it's going to be friends. I'm only going to take this action, which is actually pretty bad, but... I mean, it happened. At least we're going to get some reward for our... from our... Um, career card and let's see what else we're going to get the only problem would be if okay 
Johnny's passing out. One, two, three, four. So now there are never going to be two of those, right? Yeah. I th think I'll be forced to skip this tile. It's very unfortunate. But I don't see many ways around that. I was also hoping for something like this one, actually. I actually might be taking Major Harbor. Even though I didn't play any assistant at this point. So no, Jacquot is still going to be better. Yeah. So I'll scrap that. I don't think I'm going to get any of those, unfortunately. So I will just play Jacquot. And call it the day. As you can see, I have too many coins. This is most of the time what happens when playing against Hard John, in my opinion. Let's see if there's. No, there's nothing. Okay, this one is good. At least there's something that's pretty good. So that one is going to be on spot 7, we don't really care, 2 spaces lower, that's that's unfortunate, that's exactly what we wanted to do. I'm wondering if going for something really crazy might help me out. Something pretty crazy means playing this card to explore. This actually can work pretty well. Uh, follow me. I'm going to take three village actions and play this guy, this girl actually, the native, and discard those two cards to explore. And I'm going to play another card too, which might be another pioneer. <laughs> That's going to be one, two, three, four, five movements. One, two, three, four, five. That's actually a reasonable plan. And there are plenty of herbs over here, so... Yeah, let's go for it. It's pretty uncommon to do that. But, I mean, this game can be interesting. So let's play native. Okay. And let's play another card. Mm, for it to be the pioneer, I will have to discard everything else. I think it's still fine. So let's just play this guy. And then with the last village action, let's just discard those two. Let's explore for five steps. It's pretty massive, isn't it? A bit unfortunate to skip this one, but I had no way to get it, so going to take this guy for sure. I will probably take this guy too, just because it's another herb. But before that, let's just draw a blind card. That's another herb, so I'm not going to need that guy. And this one might actually prove to be better. That's a corn, if I've ever seen any. And let's go for another blind one. Yeah. Yep. All right. Pretty cool. And we might actually play the flot or whatever its name. Yeah, so Jeanne is going over here and she's exploring. She got our quest, but again, there was no way we could get it, so not going to cry. Of the milk spilled. I think I'm going to go here. I might go here and play some other cards. This one does cost 10 and is going to give me 7 points, which is a pretty good conversion, isn't it? Yeah, I might, I might do that. As of now, we'll just go here. And probably go for a lot of exploration. I mean, let me quickly check here. I can go one, two, three, four, five. 
Like I have plus three. And that will lose us one step, but I think it's pretty well worth it. So yeah, let's do this. And this. Let's take three steps, which are actually going to be a bit more than that. Let's discard a harbor and the ruin, I think. I mean, I'm not going to play this guy, right? Let's just say it's going to be this guy and the harbor at this point. I don't think it's reasonable to expand me to play the harbor right now. I'm trying to get closer to be able to play um, to finish my career card I would actually not be against playing even a sailor Major Harbor is 20 for 5 points which is not much Spain Armada is unplayable let's get a blind draw That's pretty good. So now I have enough corn to be happy. Yeah, I'm still not taking that guy. It doesn't really make too much sense to me. Jan goes to upper, which is all right. It's not perfect, but it's all right. We wanted this one, but we might take it on the next loop. This one is still pretty good and it gives us... Oh, actually we did need one extra combat. Um, point anyway so this is another seven point cards we might get to and again I don't think we're going to play the harbor in this game let's get that one take the action let's start to unlock that one and let's throw some cards I mean we have 24 I'm actually interested in founding this one right now, and hopefully the other one is going to be good too. I mean, playing La Armada is also a decent plan, so we might go for that instead. We'll see. Right now I'm going to draw a card. Another Pioneer. We can never have enough Pioneer, it seems. Do -do 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 How many unlocks did she get? Let's quickly check that. She's got 5 to my 6. I'm going to reach 7. But I don't know if I'm going to take many more than that. We'll see. I'm a bit lagging behind on points, but I'm confident that I will be able to get them back sooner or later. So I might take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five steps and then one, two, three, four, five. I think it's a pretty decent plan. Um, which means that I'm going to also get an extra action on top of the many points that I'm going to get. And the three uh, combat points that I'm going to get, I'm going to spend them on a possibly massive Murakaibo action. Possibly massive. Possibly not. We'll see. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go exploring, and yeah, let's go here. Three combat points might be quite relevant. Jan, yada yada, unlocking something extra. Six unlocks. Again, we're going to go up to seven, but we might try to go up to eight at this point. Just, you know, to make Jan lose some. I got 24 coins. Yeah, I'm just going to use them for a lot. It's just an overall good card. Seven points are good. Let's throw a card. This one is bad. This one is bad. This one is bad. This one is bad. But I, I might need the corn. So let's just take it. John is leading me massively in points. So again, hopefully we're going to be able to recover from that. It would be uh, pretty funny if I'm going to lose my first game. Um, well, the game that I just said, I cannot lose. Um, but we'll see. So now I have 
a card play. I don't actually have too many coins. Normally I'm droning in them, but this time around it doesn't seem like I'm going to have too many of them. Um, I still need one more quest, which might need be need that one, might not be that one. Which is on four six six. I'm for sure going to go down there. That's the lever. I don't think I'm going to need that one. I'm going to actually try to go for the coins at this point. I mean, I, I'm just going to unlock this one because I want to be sure, but going for coins doesn't seem too bad. Well, I might need some maps, actually. So if I can get some maps, that could be cool. Why can I? Oh, last is only... Oh, I thought you could take it when there was only one. And I mean... 28, again, there's nothing that even resemble the points I'm going to get from this one, which are going to be at least 16, maybe even more. This one is going to be instead 14, so this one is just better. Just buy it right now. Uh, draw cards to end. I'm going to need some coins somehow. It's not going to be easy. Five, six. Jean will probably take one of these. I need some maps. And there is only one map on offer. I'm going to take it. Let's see if other maps will show up. Two upper. That's unfortunate. And she's also going to take one quest. She might beat me on quests. Would be a bit sad. Maybe I can stop over here and then on Maracaibo. The problem is that the biggest risk is that she's going to take Maracaibo. Normally I try to go very fast on my last loop. Yeah, I think I have to go to Maracaibo and then I will stop over here. So we don't fortunate. But that way I'm sure that I can get both the Maracaibo action, this one, and then another combat action. I don't know how many coins I'm going to get. I don't know if I'm going to play any to pay play any incredible card, but we're going to try. Uh, at this point I don't need any icons. Let's try to unlock this one. I might actually need those stupid coins. I'm going to play for friends, right? Indeed, friends, indeed. Four at least, probably six. Keeping one, yeah, six seems all right to me. Let's grab some more coins. I still think I might need those coins. This way I'm going to reach 8. And then I'm going to reach 9 on the last action. Yeah, that's that. Oh, I still need the sixth one. Okay. Draw cards to end. Am I going to go for an Hail Mary to try to get this quest? It doesn't look incredibly good to me, but there's also no real good card that I want to play at this point. And I want some good cards for points, so I might go and reserve few of these cards anyway that's plan one that's plan two and let's plan now that's right 
I think it's fine. Let's draw up to six. That's another map. Another map still. Also, this guy is pretty decent, I think. Alright, she's going to take the quest. Very good. So I got five. She's got, what, six? Yeah, she's got six. So I, I actually want to take both of those. I want to take this one and this one. It's a bit of a risk because she might... She might catch me up. Oh, this one is not the one that I th thought it was. I'm very tempted to skip this one. But I think it's still a reasonable action to take. Those two. All right. I think I'm going to spend this one and one. Still grabbing some coins. This way I'm going to go up to 10. And I can fulfill this part. And I can also fulfill the other one. That's 21, and that's enough for the last um, the last building that I'm going to get, which is good. So let's just throw something useless and call it today. Two spaces upper. Right, so she's going to end around, which is not something I'm too keen on. But I think this quest does still give me more points, or does it? I mean, right now we are even. And I don't really need other unlocks. I don't need the coins anymore. I don't need the coins anymore. This one would basically be me banking on her not getting quests. I think it's still better. I, I think it's overall better to be the guy who closes the round, so I will just be that guy. And I'm lucky again, I mean, friends for four here is pretty good, because I'm going to reach 12. I don't know how many cubes are down, but uh, yeah. I just need to place down one cube, which is going to be on any village, like over here, and then I'm going to take one step. That's it. I should get plenty of points from that. Hopefully she's not going to take another quest, but if she does so, alright, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. She's unlocking another one. Hopefully she won't unlock another one on her next action. I, I hope she's going to explore, basically, on her last action. But I might get unlucky. I don't know. It was a very tense game to be a base game. but One step on France is going to be worth something for her. Oh, no. Two is worth nothing. All right. So she basically took a dead move on her last turn, which is good. Turn. That's by... Where is it? Over here, that's the Abbey. All right, let's see if we were able to reach her or not. Do, do, do. It seems likely. All right, we got it. As I said, it was a pretty fast game. It took uh, me less than a hour, I think. And it's interesting to show why moving fast against Jan is pretty good. I think it goes a long way. Showing uh, people that moving fast is good. 
moving fast can work pretty well and there are not too many things you want to care about when playing. I mean, I still had to be a bit creative at one point. I had to uh, go for a three village action stop, which is definitely not common in this game, or I think it should be. It shouldn't be. But it was an interesting one, nonetheless. I'm going to go for another game right now, and then we'll see after that. That's going to still be very hard, John. Uh, but it's going to be on the advanced one. The advanced one is way harder. On the advanced one, you need a plan uh, to bridge from Kumana to Caracas because there are three more steps required to jump from 9 to 10. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. These two cities being here is fairly bad. But oh well. This action at the start of the game is also a bit tricky. Like discarding your hand is a pretty hefty cost. We got an explorer in our hand, so our plan is going to be play the explorer and try to go with it. Which is most of the time a good plan, you can also keep the pioneer to play later on. So I'm going to keep the explorer and a tobacco. And then one, two, three, all this corn. I think it's going to be required. So, I'm going to discard the harbor. It's highly unlikely that I will be able to stop on Maracaibo, so I'm going to discard that guy. And then it basically comes down to whatever. I don't know what's the most... the easiest card that we're going to play, but Conquer Village is probably a long way for now, so I'm just going to keep these cards. There's a sailor that we need to play the explorer on our first action, and that's it. Um, this one is not bad, but reaching 12 is actually pretty hard. I think I'm still going to take glory. I don't know if I will be able to get up to 4 combat token. It's way easier on the basic setup than on the advanced one. But I'm still going to take glory. Power, sometimes it's possible to take it, but I, I, I'm really not confident I'm going to be able to reach 12, and I think I'm going to play 2 assistant at most, so I'm just going to take glory. Ah, yeah, I have to plant a card. That's the explorer. And then let's take glory. Let's stop to Santiago, that's pretty different than on the basic scenario again. That's because... Oh, this is, by the way, pretty much always the first unlock, in my opinion. Take the action. It's going to be the explorer. Yeah. And then we have to draw cards, and we're going to go for a blind draw. I didn't even check. Here are two herbs. Two of these. One figure of it. This one is actually very strong. It can lead itself to some good chaining. But those two icons are the ones that I should plan the most right now. I mean, this one is alright. This one is pretty much a given that I'm going to take it. But I really need these ones. I'm actually tempted to uh, buy one of these. And I'm going to. I mean, it's one coin. Which is pretty hefty as a cost, but still going to take it. Jean is combating a bit for Spain, it seems. So we might try to play catch up on Spain, or we might go for something else instead. We might stop over here, it doesn't really make sense. We might stop over here, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, because, I mean, I think I'm just going to go there. Often it's good to stop over here, is one of these two cities over here, but here I'm really planning on hitting Cantagina. So taking three steps when Jean didn't explore at first is not ideal, but it's alrightish. Two spaces lower, she's going to go to Maracaibo. And she's exploring twice. Would have been better if she did that just before us, because we would have got ourselves a pretty good unlock. But it is what it is. 
So going over here is a bit risky. Because if she gets here, there's a good tension. But I think it's still better than exploring twice here. Yeah, I'm going to go for unlock early. Let's deliver this one. Let's stage this one and let's throw connection. I mean, I have only three coins, uh, which is a bit concerning, but I should get enough from this spot. So I don't think I'm going to unlock this one. And the combat action can be postponed a bit in my experience in the advanced mode. I'm really trying to go fast. Maybe I'm going too fast. We'll see. One space upper, that's cool. She's going to come where I am, but she's going to explore, which is not cool. Because she... I I'm a bit afraid. I mean, probably we'll get there, but I still think I'm pretty much bound to take this action. I don't think it's justifiable not to take it. Um, here we're going to take two coins. How many coins here? Out of four. Yeah, that's enough to play a card. The most important thing is that we're going to get enough to play a card. Let's take that. We got one figure left, which is not much. But that is still fine-ish. Going to take the history, I think. Then am I going to really play the pioneer or not? So I don't know if I want to give up a figure for that. It's my last one and I don't have any clear way to get any. And I'm going to spend one over here. And I can just go here by moving three and then two. So I'm actually trying to find another decent card that I might play without giving up a figure. That might actually be the grosser. Even though that would require me discarding. Hmm, I still won't get enough. Will I? I still won't get enough corn. I still won't get enough corn. Oh no, I will have enough corn. Yep. So I might play the grocer. It's a very uncommon card to play, but it's going to save me one figure. I might go for it. Alright, Jan didn't explore. Hopefully she won't explore on her next action. Oh no, I'm just going to take uh, that stupid tide right now. Do you explore. Let's get down here. And I think I'm going to take three steps on Spain. It's the only nation that makes sense at this point. It's the only one with one cube down. Uh, I'm going to discard those two. Because I'm going to keep the grocer since I might play it. Draw cards to end. Carpenter is a good card. It's a bit slow. But it's not a bad card at all. Throne is the icon. Because I'm going to discard all of my corn. In a few seconds. Probably. I mean, I have nine coins. I might play the merchant, but that's fairly bad in my opinion. I might actually go for a total discard over here. Or I might go for a... I might go for a village action. I don't know. I, I am still... Feel like I'm better drawing a card. 
All right, we got another cord. It's pretty decent. Johnny's taking the quest. And the merchant. All right. Let's play a card. I'm pretty far from getting anything out of my career card. I got zero tokens. I got z Well, I got three steps, but not many. Oh, even though I'm pretty confident that I will be able to fulfill it, it's not going to be like in our last game where it's going to be fast. So I have to really keep an eye on the icons that I'm going to get. So let's buy a card. I'd be tempted by the historian. Historian is decent, but the grocer does give me a decent income without requiring much. Which is not the worst. It's also going to help me recycle my hand a bit. Which doesn't look too good, to be fair, but... It's still something. Oh, as you can see, in the advanced mode, we also got a lot more variety on cards. There are a few cards that got added into the deck, and that's going to make the game feel a bit fresh. Alright, I'm going to buy the grocer. And I have to discard three identical goods. I don't know why it does let me select this one. Yeah, shouldn't work. Pioneer is good. I'm just going to keep it in my hand, but I, I'm not sure I will be able to play it. Now let's draw cards, and if I'm not going to draw any decent card, I will just go and discard everything for 4 coins, I think. Um, so yeah, let's draw something from the top. The native is actually a pretty decent card. The harbor is also a pretty decent card. Uh, this one is not an amazing card, but it might be decent-ish in this game. And yeah, I'm still going to go for a blind draw. Okay, some coins. Jean is leading on me, but that's all good. It's pretty expected. There's no corn out. Which is gonna be unfortunate. Whoa! I I have to get this quest, right? I mean, I can stop here, then take this quest, then go explore. It doesn't look like a bad plan to me. It's not an amazing one, but it's not a bad plan either. I won't be getting anything out of here other than discarding my whole hand. While stopping here... Might be decent. I'm regretting a bit not unlocking this one, but I mean, I wouldn't have been able to play some of the cards that I did play, so there's also that. And I can get actually five coins from this top if so I want. I mean, seven coins. I don't know if I want to, but it's pretty good to know that I can. Here with some maps, I can take a decent action to. A lot of options here. It's not common to have all these options open. I don't know if I'm going to use her much. Actually, the answer is no, I don't think I will. So maybe moving a bit faster is better. Just stopping over here. I don't like any of those two stops. I have to, I have to admit that. I'm fortunate I cannot play this one. Yeah, I think that accelerating a bit is not bad. Let's take two unlocks. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to need the coins. She spaces upper, so I, sh I would have denied her an unlock. Maybe that was a bad idea. I don't know. Now Zaraza is an option, but I am going to stick to my trusty explorer right now. Let's go there. Jean 
is not going to Maracaibo. But she's going straight up to Port Royal. So I might stop on Maracaibo this time. She didn't explore, so I have no fear that she's going to take this one. After this one, I'm going to take one, two, three steps. Or one, two, three. No, one, two, three does look better. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It's a bit unfortunate because I almost wanted to play Governor Hernandez uh, over there. And instead I will probably discard it on Maracaibo. But I'm, I think that I'm... Anyway, I'm going to play the Harbor at the end of the loop, probably, so... And I think taking a combat action here is, is a decent option. And one that I'm going to take. Yeah, let's start combating a bit, shall we? Go, go, Hernandez. Points. Tie fewest. Actually, this one is going to give me a figure. <laughs> Just crazy as that sound. It's not a bad idea at all. Doesn't look like John is going to combat too much in this game. And that figure might actually really help me playing an explorer on the next loop. I think I think I'm going to take it. And I'm going to place down a cube and gain the coins. Right. Spain, here we go. I don't know if I want any of those. But yeah, they don't look too bad to me. Maybe I'm going to need a map. Well, I'm going to need some books, but there's no book out, right? I don't see any book. I'm just going to go for a blind draw again. It's probably the most uh, time consuming part of the game. So Johnny is going to end the game, end the um, round, and I'm actually, I don't think, oh I cannot grab this one, right, I don't have the proper um, cards to do that, so let's just go there, oh dang, I wanted to play both the Harbor and the Pioneer. It seems like I won't be able to do that. And I won't be able to play Jacquot either. Hmm. I really wanted the extra steps. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's... It's not ideal. What if... No, it doesn't work. Well, I will have to discard the Pioneer and play the Harbor. The Harbor is worth too many points not to do that, I think. So, goodbye, Pioneer. You will be... Actually, is there another Harbor? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> harbor, a long time no see. Let's get the points. Connection, go over there. Grab that one. And let's take another three steps. That's so cool, isn't it? And I'm going to draw into the harbor. Hopefully one book or more is going to show up before I'm going to take uh, the next explorer action. But we'll see about that. Happy enough with how the game is going right now. So, I shouldn't say anything. The harbor is going to be worth quite a few points by the end of the game. 14 at least. 
Maybe more. Uh, what do I need? Books, right? I also need some corn, though. Maybe corn is even more important, and I'm going to try to fetch books by stopping over here. No, I will have to stop over there. And I need the corn to do that. Alright, so I have to take that guy. Alright. We got one book. And we just need another one. The academy did show up, which is pretty good. So this is not great Western Trail, unfortunately. Uh, not because Maracaibo is a bad game, but because it's way better to play against other players. But, I mean, we do what we can with what we have. Let's be sure that we won't be stuck without anything. Uh, on this loop, we are... On this loop, we are going to stop. Hmm, let's still advance with Spain. It's the only one that is likely it's going to bring us some points. Let's play the Pioneer. But before ending the turn, because I'm going to need two books right now. We're a bit at the mercy of the deck right now, which is not a good position to be in. Otherwise, I will have to not take this one. Two, three, four. I'm going to take five coins for that, but still. Do we want to reserve anything? Well, not this one, of course. The English Galleon is not going to do anything for us. We can just reserve this stupid card, I think. Let's plan one. And let's do some kind of a small-ish Hail Mary, I think. Am I going to need maps? Yeah. It's going to be this one. And let's close and draw cards. I don't like to take Hail Marys in this game, but sometimes you have to. This one is good. It's a corn at least. This one is not. One last chance, right? Yeah, we didn't hit. That's unfortunate. But oh well. Oh no, we did. We already have one book. Well, what, what am I saying? I, I don't know what I was saying, but yeah. It's late in the night, and Mario is not at its best. But Mario, when are you at your best? Pretty much never. There's one extra book, and Gloria is basically two books. Problem is, I don't think I'm going to stop to take this one. I really want to hit Kabimas. Yeah, I don't think I have the time to do that. So let's go over there. And let's go there. Let's discard those two cards. So I didn't need the Hail Mary. I'm just an idiot. Let's take another step here. And now let's throw cards to end. I am going to need corn. So I'm going to take that. I might need some maps, but I already have two. So I'm going to take that guy. And I'm going to go for a blind draw. I don't think I will stop over here. But I might. We'll see. Space is lower. Should we go there? Okay. 
Let's go to Kabimas and let's try to advance Spain for as much as we can. Uh, I'm not going to need another Pioneer, I don't think. Even though the first one was pretty good. So we can take four extra steps. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to have one, two, three, four. And then another two. Seems legit to me. I don't really think I'm going to take anything else. So, yep. I think that 90% of the time against John, this one is going to be three explorer step. It's just that good. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Small point this way. And let's combat for Spain. Which is going to give us some victory points. Some coins, probably. Like six coins are just too many to pass on, I think. And then this one, that one is already filled up. So let's just go there. Pretty good action in it. Our career require us to have at least three, better four, and nine steps over there. We're at eight. And we should be able to get all of them sooner rather than later. Oh, uh, we do have two maps. We do have two herbs. I just need more corn. So let's just go for the blind row. It's not what I wanted, but all right. The card that I'm going to play might actually be another harbor. Let's see. I think I'm going to take another combat action over here. Oh, it's not a combat action. It's even better. It's more combat points. And I th think it's too good to pass up on that. I'm going to get enough steps on the exploration track anyway, I think, on the next loop. So The only problem is that it's the only corn that I got. One and two. Amaro Pargo is a bit unfortunate, but uh, it's also pretty late for that, so. Not totally unhappy. Patron might be a good idea. I mean, I'm going to probably take two other combat action, but I'm not sure that will uh, give me enough points anyway. I might just get this one and then that one a bit boring it does work though uh, let's grab the last one uh, you remember at the start of the game that I told you that probably this one was the fastest one well <laughs> we go there um, it's just because using Kabimas is different and you get a lot out of your combat but later on in the game um, in the platform does look like a good card but I want to go for some blind draws before that. To see if at least I can get one corn or not. Yeah, one corn. Yes, please. And then the pattern is going to be five points. While a second harbor is going to be six, ten, probably twelve points by the end of the game. I think probably a second harbor does make more sense. But a pattern is a good card. Yeah, I would just stick to a second harbor or a third one. Why not? <laughs> right, Johnny is closing up the round, which is pretty decent for us at least. Let's go over there. And I think I'm going to combat again. Alright, plus two victory points is decent. We can get down one, and I th think that's what I'm going to do. Yep, 
I mean, we still have all the CT, like, we still have the five coin one. So, and Harbor is going to be worth 12. Yeah, I still think I'm going to play the Harbor. Um... I mean, five combo points, though. Isn't that pretty decent? It is. Are we still going to play the harbor? I think the pattern might work out fine. That one is two books. This one is two herbs. The one over there. How many quests does Jean have? Oh, I cannot click on Jean, unfortunately. Fine, fine. All right, this guy, decent. I mean, no, it's too late for that. That's not true, it's not decent. It's barely fine. All right, so those two are the two buildings that I'm looking at right now I think I'm jumping ahead now I think I'm jumping ahead let's see how many quests does John have and how many unlocks five unlocks to my five should be able to reach seven hopefully three quests and not enough exploration steps all right I'm just going to go there over there I'm doing them in the reverse order which is pretty funny on the turn hopefully I'm not doing stupid mistakes I'm actually not checking too much at this point uh, my plan right now is Kabimus into Port Royale into ending the round points and take an action unfortunate still fighting for Spain um, I th think I'm going to place down one cube yeah I still have some figures that I might use on the last combat action of the game. Right now I'm a bit undecided, but I think two victory points are just way better than anything else pretty much. I'm already at 39 coins. So I actually should be able to get enough coins, yeah, like from my career card, to play double uh, prestige building. Uh, nothing really. There's anything for me. I mean, Spain La Armada is pretty good. But it's still not good enough, probably. I'm still going to take it. Jan goes two spaces upper, so she's going to get the quest. It's fine. I'm going over here. As I said, there's no time to be fancy. Just doing what I'm doing now is good. Let's unlock the 10 points. Maybe I did a dumb move. Maybe I actually did a dumb move. Oh no, that's fine. That's all right. Because I'm going to take, the last move is going to be an exploration. That's worth too much. So 
I should have spent the extra figures, but I mean, don't think that would have changed much. No, I mean, I didn't have the extra combo points, so I wouldn't have been able to get two more steps on the track. That's all right. Whew. I should have it. But we'll see. Let's go over here, explore. Grab one of these stupid buildings. This is going to be worth 14 and these uh, 16. As you can see, they're pretty much always the buildings that you're going to get. Uh, if it seems that it's boring, it's just because I am showing you a cookie cutter game. I'm not showing you any crazy game. <laughs> Hi, Brindling. Sorry if I just saw now your comment. There was nobody commenting, so I didn't take a look at the chat. Uh, the Scourge of AI Mario is streaming. It's a me, Mario. The Scourge of the Seven Seas. Let's go over there. Uh, let's see if I can get anything else in this game. I, I should be able to win easily at this point. Whew. And this one was over in like half an hour or so, I think. It's pretty interesting. I didn't think I was this fast. I mean, half an hour is fucking fast. Let's see if I was able to win. Rightish. Yada yada. I think I should be able to win. Hooray! 178 to 141. Pretty good, right? I mean, since we are here, I might just I might just go for a last game and still go against very hard John. Very hard, that said. And the intermediate setup. I haven't been playing the intermediate uh, setup in quite a while. I think it's very similar to the um, basic one. And I like the advanced way more. But we might go for it. So let's start the game. Oh, you might have noticed that I didn't say... Good, there's the academy in the game. You might have noticed that I didn't say any, like any single thing about this action. I don't love it. I don't love it for one simple reason. When I'm, I mean, sometimes I use it, but when I'm fighting and combating hard, I don't like to take it because I want to place down many cubes. I don't just want to advance on my trunk. I either want to place down many cubes and advance, or I just want to advance. Uh, this one is just too costly most of the time, and I don't need coins most of the time the way I think the game against the AI should be played. So here what we get. We get Zaraza. We still get Kabimus. Oh no, Kabimus is locked. We get Zaraza. Now, what, why is Kabimus shown? Is Kabimus in the game or not? It shouldn't be. This is the intermediate one, right? Yeah. Oh. Isn't it the intermediate one? Why does the plus three steps? Let, let me let me quickly check. Maybe that's a bug. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, there should just be Puerto Cabeza, Zaraza, the extra stupid things that doesn't do anything in this one. There shouldn't be the three extra steps. It's a bit weird. It looks like, like it's advanced mode, even though it's called intermediate. Pretty sure I have been playing this one, so I don't know why. Oh, this is it, right? This is correct one. M maybe, maybe I just misclicked before. Uh, that that might be the reason. Yeah, this is it. 
So we get Zaraza, but no Kabimas. And Zaraza is not... I want to say it's not good. I was able to use Zaraza on advanced mode a few times when I wasn't able to find um, an explorer or a good um, a good assistant over here. But Zaraza is difficult to use. Uh, you need a career card that is going to give you to constantly feed you figures, and you need a good plan to use those extra um, village actions. So it's it's not easy. Over down here we see uh, different icons, which is good. Here there's a fucking good tile if you're able to get um, a few more figures. This is another incredibly good um, tile. I don't know why today I cannot zoom in or zoom out, but oh well. I think it's two steps, right? Yeah, should be two steps. Uh, there's this city over here. This one is it's pretty much always useful. This one is very good. This one is uh, <laughs> not really good. Let's just say that. Um, but our plan is very similar to the base game, in my opinion. We try to go fast through the loop. We try to hit one of those two cities. Then we try to hit Maracaibo. Then we go from there. We are going to need to explore quite a bit. But, but... Remember that exploring quite a bit um, is not as necessary when we get these two over here. So, we would like to hit this one. That's important. So we would like to get books. This one just requires one figure. This one, two maps. Uh, it's impossible to cover all the bases, but I would say the books are pretty important and we haven't got any book. That sucks. We got plenty of master builders, which are actually pretty good and interesting. I, I'm actually a bit tempted to go for a, a crazy Zaraza run with master builders, but I think that it's better when you get them later on. Uh, and saving them at the start of the game doesn't really make too much sense, unless there are like two more over here or something. No, there's not. So my plan is going to be the boring um, stop either on Santo Domingo or Puerto Plata. We're going to decide about that. Then Maracaibo. That's probably going to be Santo Domingo, spoiler alert. Uh, then Maracaibo. Then get this quest to get here if we are able to get two books. And there are a lot of books over here. So everything should be cool and all. I'm going to discard as always. Um, the tobacco cards that also does have useless icons, it seems. Mary Reed might be an interesting play on the first loop, actually. <laughs> actually, you know what? I, I can go... Maybe it's too aggressive. You see, reserving Mary Reed is not as crazy as it sounds. I just need to place down two cubes for England. Which is not difficult to do. Problem is, I'm going to need the two books, so I won't be unlocking the extra combat action. Because I think a pretty easy thing to do is stop into Santo Domingo, then Maracaibo, then grab this quest, and then maybe go over there. So I'm going to unlock... They take a card for free, because there are books over here, which means that in turn I won't stop for these stupid things. I might still play an explorer. It's not as important though, and it will let me lose uh, Maracaibo. Uh, I th think we're going to take this one. So, I think actually saving up a Sailor doesn't look that bad. I mean, a Pioneer can work out fine. I would just reserve a Pioneer. Yeah, I've just played a game with Explorer, and I don't want to do another one. Oh, I only had one corn out of my starting hand. That's pretty bad. Choose a career card. And then we're ready to go. Let's go with them. 
Deliver my only lonely corn. Always unlock that one. Take the action over here. Draw cards to end. And it's going to be one of these. But it's multi purpose. Which is the mission. Well, all of them do have both the corn and the other thing. I spent one coin, I know, but I think it's well worth it. Alright, she's going to stop here, and she took the governor. Which is not good. I will be able to pull through, I think. Well, we'll see, there's no other corn. This might prove a bit tricky. It's very relaxing tonight, by the way. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Take the action. Hopefully we're going to do that for England. I think it's well worth it to spend six coins. I should be able to get coins from other things, basically. Quests do always give you coins. And playing two is pretty good, I think. Also, John did just play down something, so. Just going to go for that. It's going to be one of these. Still think that three coins right at the start of the game are probably always worth it. There's also one figure that I might take. But I don't see any real reason to do that. Anyway, I would have been able to play Mary Reed right at the start if I did unlock the extra combat action, but. I really needed those icons, so there's that. She's moving by one. So do I have any map in my hand? Zero maps, and there are zero maps over here. So actually, my starting plan is not as good as it used to be. Because I won't be able to stop over here, basically. I don't think there's a way, un unless I get like freaking lucky. And I spike two maps out of here. I don't think that's a reliable plan. I think I have to take a risk here and I have to stop on Cartagena. If Jean does go two steps down here, that will be... Maybe not a disaster, but... Not something that I'm going to like, but I don't see many other many ways to avoid this. Actually, let's undo a second. Unfortunately, undo does take a lot of time. Yeah, there's another corn plus uh, that one. So, all good. Conquer village, yep. It's going to be... I think it's going to be still this one. Take the action. Six cards. Draw cards to end. It's going to be one of these. And two cards from the top. Useless. Decent. Two spaces upper. Cool, cool. We don't have to make any crazy plan. We can just go here. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. The, <laughs> the figure does change color depending on whose player is playing. Go straight up there. Uh, did I miscount? It seems, it seems like I did miscount for one crazy, some crazy reason. Well, I'm still going to do that and go there instead. That was fairly bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really late. I mean, I. <laughs> It's the third game in a row, and I, I think I'm just not playing at my best at this point. Uh, 
it's pretty clear to everybody, I think, <laughs> that I'm not playing at my best. Um, I did advance a bit here, but I'm going to definitely take three uh, free steps. Bypassing the barrier. And yeah, I still want that tile. I mean, that was my plan. So they're going to be on Spain for sure. And they are probably going to be these two cards. I might actually play Sabir. Two points incoming is pretty strong. And I unfortunately won't be able to play Mary Reed right now. This card is pretty decent, but right now let me take a look at what icons I'm going to need. I'm going to need two of these, maybe two herbs, and hopefully two maps. I think the priority is getting the maps and getting these. I already got two. I mean, not two because I'm going to play one of them, most probably, but I can get other ones. My priority is getting maps. So let's see if I can get them. The answer is no. And no again. Alright. Exploring twice doesn't do me anything. Now, now, now. I actually think this guy is the strongest one in the vacuum. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. Come here, you're mine. You're mine. How long would it take me to get this tile? Probably a bit. Probably a bit. I mean, I have a pioneer. Maybe I want to play the Pioneer instead of that Pirate. Maybe that's a good plan. Probably that's a better plan. Maybe. I mean, let's just try something different, shall we? Let's just try something different. Let's just play that guy. And explore just a little bit. So I won't be needing any of those. So uncommon for me to have a point income on the first loop when I'm not praying three cubes special. By the way, Amara Pargo is pretty good. I think I'm going to take him. Yeah, that one of them. And I'm going to need maps. Where can I get maps? Well, Mara Pargo has got a map. Probably going to take him. Conquer Village. Upgrade the extra combat action. Yeah, I'm going to take the map, you know. Amar Pargo is a good card in general, and taking the map is also pretty decent, so... I'll just go for it. As you can see, the loop to go from here to Maracaibo is always pretty good. He's going to be a master builder, unfortunately for him. Ooh, sorry guys. The action. I'm going to fight for England. England. Let's get down business to the hunts. I don't think I want two points. I might want one figure at some point. 
But I think I'm better off taking the two points when I'm offered them. Alrighty. Now, I need another map. Is there another fucking map? There's not even a single map. I'm going to take the harbor probably. Hooray, she is coming my way. So I'll stop Maracaibo and not take anything. Actually, take a card, which is even better. Because if you take a card, I have more chances to be able to hit a map that is still not there. I th think I'm going to Cartagena. Well, it's not in, I think. It's easily the best option that I got. Deliver there. Do I need the books for anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, the herbs are going to be needed way later on, so let's just discard that one. Let's start to unlock that one to try to get this one. And. You know, am I going to go for an Hail Mary? Like, if I hit the map, that's not even insane if I hit the map. I will just take the Quest Hunter instead. Yeah. And yeah, John is going over here. So it's going to be me, the one who closes the round, which is fine. Not amazing, but fine. Because I don't want to take two village actions. I'm just going to play Amaro Pargo here. Actually... Should he? No available actions. Um... I hate it. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering if I can get enough coins to play three cards. But no. There's no way I would do that. I would be able to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to play Amara Pargo, I think. My career card. Well, this one, it's going to be easy. It's the second part. The third part, pardon. It's going to be a bit tricky, I think. I don't think I'm going to explore. I think I'm just combating a lot in this game, probably. For England. For the king. Maybe I'm paying with one figure instead of one combat point. Nah. I'm taking one figure. And I'm placing down another cube too. Yeah, I think it's decent. Yeah, there's nothing that does cost one combat point this time around. Unfortunately, Jean is going to move after us. So... Uh, we are going to play Amaro Parigo, I think. You know, Mary Reed might also be. Mary Reed might also be pretty decent. Maybe Mary Reed is just better. 
I'm gonna probably go my double op there's a map. Alright. I'll just go for married then. Throw cards to end. I'm very tempted by the second map. Even though I'm going to have one corn only, I think I can pull it off even with one corn only on the next loop. Alright, and there's one corn over here, so. Should be still in a decent spot, I think. I'm going to take whatever she doesn't take. And I'm actually happier that I'm going to take this one. Mm. Maybe I'm not happier anymore, but <laughs> you got what I mean. Oh, dang. Oh, that's fine. There's only three cubes down, down for Spain, so I'm not gaining much by accelerating down there, I don't think. Let me just go there. Just got those two stupid cards. Get something. Take the action. Throw cards to end. It's going to be this one for sure. And then some blank cards, because I'm not going to need any of those. Map is good, and the corn is good. One space upper, she's going to take this one. I'm a bit tempted of taking that one. Oh, I don't have any more of the icons, right? Do I? I don't. So let's just go here and combat. Fuck me. And it's always very hard to find those maps. In it. Do 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 I might be killing some cubes sooner rather than later. I've been combating a lot in this game, and I'm not getting enough quests as of now, fortunately. And nothing that does anything. Oh, come on. She might beat me this game. I wasn't able to explore enough. And even though I'm going to take quite a few points out of combat, they might not be enough. I did a mistake here. I think I want to go to Cartagena instead. Jean cannot beat me, so... I think I'm going to go to Cartagena. I'm going to get the coins, because why not? I think I'm going to get all the unlocks that I'm going to need anyway at this point. So taking the coins doesn't seem like a bad idea. To upper, it's still going to be me, the one who closes up the round. No, it's going to be her. So 
there we go fortunately we'll be able to oh i'm going to discard the two cards that i really wanted to play <sighs> oh well I, I think it's needed i want to place the barrier before her this is going to be five points more but now i need to find something that i'm willing to play the carpenter doesn't do anything for me actually not many cards do anything for me Martyr is not bad. <laughs> Martyr is not bad. I mean, I have 29 coins. Do I need any particular kind of icon for the next one? That's a figure. That's going to be easy. Two maps don't think I will get that one for two herbs, but I do have the herbs anyway, so. Alright. Tier space is lower. It's going to steal combat for Spain, I think. No, she did combat for France. It's fine. I think I need to explore <laughs> this game. I might, I might finally play the Pioneer here. It doesn't look like a crazy plan. I mean, the Martyr isn't bad, but it's it's not good by any stretch. The Trapper, Trapper is actually way better than Pioneer at this point. I think way better might be too strong of a word but it doesn't cost me a figure it doesn't give me the coins but I, I mean I'm not really in dire need of coins anyway so the next one is going to be the last round I think I'm actually going to play the trapper there's one point more and that's the only thing that really matters to me at this point I've been combating quite a bit and I don't see why I have to stop on the next round, so. Explore, explore. Woo! This move. This move means that I am for sure going to get this one even if I don't play any stupid pioneer or anything but if I play a trapper if I play the trapper I'm going to be able to jump ahead of her and steal one point and get one point which is bonkers I, I just need one herb though and there's one so that's what I'm going to do. Cool. That's very cool. It's not uh, it's not a card I normally play against John. But in this game it seems like it's going to be pretty decent. Alright. Yeah, she's leading in points. That's normal. No reason to be scared ever. How many quests did she get though? That's something that might scare me. How many quests is she going to get? Just four. We have four each. I'm way ahead on many other things, but I'm not that much ahead from that point of view. I want to finish up the round before her. So I really need that I'm going to do like two steps here, then Maracaibo again, trying to reach a magical number, then maybe ending the round. Like I just need to unlock this one, I don't need any other unlocks. So probably that's what I'm going to do. It sounds a bit crazy, she might beat me on quests, but I think it should be alright. How many times have you played this in real life? 
Brindelin, do you mean in solo or do you mean against other players? That's very different. Do -do -do. Either. Um, well, I played way more um, multiplayer in person. I think I'm probably around 50 plays. I'm not sure. I'm for sure way above 20. I'm sure I'm also um, on less than 100 games for sure. I, I think 50 should be should be a decent number. Oh wow, I played it three times. Yeah, no, no, I, <laughs> you know that I'm I'm a bit crazy on on games sometimes, and I, I did play this game a lot. I haven't been playing this game a lot recently. Your past the master builder is OP phase, way past that actually. Uh, I spent sometimes thinking that uh, master builder was uh, unplayable, <laughs> and I came back to the thing that it's just another card that you can play if everything goes accordingly to the plan, but it's nothing crazy, nothing incredibly good, nothing incredibly bad. It's just it's just a card. I just take this one because I need to hit the city. And I don't think I need anything else. I will just go uh, and end the loop. And hopefully I will be able to hit 12. I might even explore twice just to get here. Even though it's not required. I might go there. I don't need any of these. I might as well take one random card. Maybe one of these just in case something crazy happens. Two spaces offer, it's a bit unfortunate, because she's going to beat me on quests at this point. I mean, we have five each, but she does have way more actions than I do have, so pretty sure she's going to beat me hard. But we'll see. So Brindelin is referring to the thing that many people on BGG claim that Master Builder was overpowered, uh, because that's because people are moving too slow. If you learn how to move fast in Maracaibo, I, I don't think you will go back. Um, Master Builder is not bad, but it's not by any means too strong. I think I actually made a big mistake in this game. I think I should have played one big building on the last loop, but it's fine. Should be able to do everything anyway. Oh, let's place down one cube. Actually, 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 I think, I think I might be taking away a cube from my opponent. I'm not even sure it's worth it though. Like she does have one more multiplier than me, but no more. Why did France? She might be getting ahead of me. I'm. I'm not even sure of that. I mean, and when I'm not not so sure, I, I might as well go this way. Yeah, in my three inefficient plays, I got the impression it was like Great Western Trail first edition at least. The better you get, the faster your loops will be. Or said another way, bad players' loops are too slow. Um. Uh, yes, even though it's not. There's one big thing that I I had a talk with um, Alex Feaster about. It's that in this game it feels bad to be the one who closes the round. And that's why people play the game really slow. That's the main reason, pretty much. People go too slow because they... It, it doesn't feel good when you're finishing the round that you're, everybody else get to take one move. You just get one three victory points, and then you're going to be the last one starting the next um, loop. It does feel bad, even though it's not bad by itself. It does feel bad, and I think it's something that changed in um, Boon Lake. I don't know if you've tried it, but in Boon Lake you also have to go fast, and there is a pleat pretty clear reward that you get if you move fast. I don't even know if I want to place down any other cube. I mean, placing down one cube is alright. 
But I mean, placing down one cube and taking two steps is not hard to do with one combat point and four figures. And it's going to be worth more than exploring down here. Because if Jan is going to move, she's going to take four steps. So, I mean, the problem is that taking that step is also going to give me four victory points. So it's four plus four, that's nine. It's hard. Let's do the math real quick. I'm going to get two bonus points plus one, two, three, four, five. So that's seven uh, multiplied by ten. Uh, that's 70 points. While if I'm able to place down one more, that's eight. Plus, uh, pardon, seven plus four, five, five times seven, so it's 35. If I take two steps and place down one cube, that's going to be 8 per 6, that's 48. So 48, 35, that's 13 points. While moving down here, it's going to be worth um, 8 points. Yeah, it's just better to combat, I think. So anyway, what I was saying is that in... Um, yeah, that's combat for England. In Maracaibo, sometimes it really does feel not good to go too slow. Oh, I do have to spend everything? Yeah, but I don't need to place down two cubes. I just need to place down one. So that's alright like this. I will just take one step and place down one cube. It doesn't feel good to win to end the round. What are winning scores for you now that you're an expert? Uh, it depends. It depends. As in Great Western Trail, people might still go slow. Come on. O only twice, please. Please. Do explore only. Yeah. She does beat me. At that point, it would have been better to explore, but who knows? Maybe she does explore again, and that's not going to be that good. And 3 VP isn't terrible. Oh, no, it's not terrible. You're right. It still feels terrible, if you know what I mean. It's pretty good to be the one who closes the last round. That's good regardless. But during the game, it doesn't feel that good to close the round. So that's why people slow down a lot. The thing is, you don't have to think about those three points. That, that's the thing that I think players uh, don't understand correctly. Is that... It's not that you're going to get three points and that all the other players are going to get, I don't know, maybe four or five or six points out of their action. It's just that if you don't have their engine, if you give them more time, they are going to kill you in points. So if you go fast, you just combat a lot, probably explore, probably focus on one of them more than anything else, but probably, again, combat a lot. And if you don't do that, you have limited uh, chances to do that. And even if the other players have better engines that let them play a lot of cards, then y you cannot do that. You are going to lend them the win. So, yeah, 39 coins means that I should have for sure played two of these. I might lose because of that, but oh well. I should have taken one of these and one of these probably. But you never know. So, there's that. Hopefully we're going to win regardless, but I think it's going to be too close for my testes. And Jeanne might actually win. No, I think she won't. Alright, still won. It was worse than the other game. It was closer, but we still won. It's like 18xx, if you play that. Um, I don't love playing games with um, beads and auctions and um, what's the name in English of that? Um, shares. But I've been playing some train games and I know what you mean. The interaction is high and you always have to think in deltas. You never think about, you know, absolute row points. You always think about, oh, I'm getting 
plus one, but my opponents are going to bet minus two, minus three, etc. I mean, I'm just talking about points. Uh, in the 18xx, you're just talking about coins or um, shares. But yeah, the principle is that it, it doesn't matter if you make a lot of points if your opponents are making more points than you. So that's what you should think all the time in Maracaibo. Someone is benefiting from the game stalling if you not if it's not you push. Yeah, that, that's exactly what you should do in Maracaibo. Exactly. But sometimes it feels bad because of course, even if you run, you might lose. I mean sometimes people have um an engine that is better than yours, but that can operate on the same number of turns. So if you go faster, you're going to still make them win. But the thing that you should consider is that they are going to win by more if you don't run. So you have to think about trying to optimize your loop so that you're going to be fast and get enough points, which is not easy to do, and it's what makes every single Feaster game a masterpiece, in my opinion. The real thing, Brindelin, because of which in real life we stopped a bit playing Maracaibo, is that when you play at a competitive level, you, I mean, competitive, at a <laughs> good level, let's just say that, um, people will take too much time at the end of each turn to refill their hand. Because there are so many things that can happen. People can steal um, a quest, people can go to the city you wanted to go, and it's really hard to plan for all of that in four players. So that made going for the take a card for free and six cards unlocks mandatory. And in my opinion, it's still mandatory even in the solo games. They are really strong and they are most of the time the two ones that I go for um, ace up. And once you get there with six cards, you can refill. It, it, can, it, can, be, it can be pretty long. It's, it's not as easy. It's not as easy, let's just say that. But the thing that it's most important that people understand is that taking village actions, it's not good. Like, if you can get a village action on a city or out of some bonus, that's pretty cool. But it's not good to just stop on villages unless it's, like, close to the end of the game and you have, like... A proper engine for that or unless you got stuck with no cities where you can go and you have to go do that but you should like you know prevent that situation you should make it so it doesn't happen anyway so yeah there's that there's my take on Mark Ibom. we were able to win three games in a row uh, one of them in the basic scenario one of them in the expert one and the last one on the intermediate one uh, I got some fun uh, I don't think I played optimally but the overall strategy and game plan is just that good so <laughs> it works even if I'm not uh, at my best <laughs> Brindley said I can't watch your stream my friends won't play versus me we still stop at villages yeah I'm I mean it's not that villages are the worst, it's that they shouldn't even exist in your mind. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, try to play a game as if villages didn't exist. Try to play a game like that. Then come back and report to me. How did it go? So just stop on cities and quests, pretty much. And try to cobble up a plan from that. When you're able to do that and get decent points, come back to me and tell me if it's working or not. Challenge accepted. Might even do it tonight. Well, that would be cool. I mean, try it yourself. It's not as easy as in other games. It's not as easy like in Grand Western Trail when the first time you go to Kansas City, it looks like you're miles ahead of everybody else, even if you didn't really understand everything of the game. It's trickier in Maracaibo, I think. Um, but try to pretend that village actions, that villages don't exist. Just try to pretend that. Um, there are going to be um, situations in which you will have to use them. Uh, but 
I would say that it's above the intermediate level. So uh, if if you're just if it's your fourth game or so of Maracaibo, I think it's way better if you try to pretend that they don't exist and really try to optimize your loops without counting villages in. Also, um, I would say that you can even win without playing any assistance. I, I think I made it clear here in this video. But if you play on the advanced setup, I think it's pretty important to play an assistant in the first half of the loop. So try to, you know, juggle a bit with that, but not, don't play many assistants. Assistants are, are slowing you down. They are good, but again... <laughs> Try, try to play without too many of them. Try to play with only the basic ones. Like the Explorer is one of the easiest ones to leverage. And it's consistent. Like the Explorer is always going to deliver. Some of the other ones, especially the ones that give you village actions, can be amazingly strong. Like the ship builder can really shine in some games. But it's, it's not as easy. It's not as easy. There are many many pieces that have to come together for that to work so yeah i mean still try whatever you can but try to ignore village actions that's my tip number one if you want to try and improve in maracaibo uh, after that there are a lot of different plans that you can have i mean there's way more variety in maracaibo than in great western trail i have to say that great western trail is tighter and i th think it's um there is less randomness in Great Western Trail overall. While in Maracaibo, there is still quite a bit of randomness and you can get mad at it. But, but it, there's more variety. You can try out different things. So I would suggest you to try different things while, <laughs> while trying to ignore village actions at first. Just try to use cities, quests, and maybe one assistant. Let's just try to do that and... Then come back and tell me what you think about the game overall. Alright guys, um, it's not that late, but I've been playing three games and I'm my mind is gone, pretty much. Oh, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of players here. Hey, Blessed X Checker. Hey, Brindelin. Hey, Graf Mao. Hey, Henti Yechian. Hey, Capsis06. Hey, Kitten Rescue. <laughs> Kitten Rescue, that's cute. Hey, M. Randy87. Oh, that's Matteo Randy. Ciao, Matteo. <laughs> right, so a few people showed up. I'm happy that I was able to show them uh, some Maracaibo games. I would have preferred to play some Great Western Trail just because playing multiplayer is normally better. Uh, but I actually like to explain um, my train of thought while going through Maracaibo steps. I think that Maracaibo is less explored than Great Western Trail by a considerable margin by now. The main thing difference is that Great Western Trail is available online, even on Board Game Arena, while Maracaibo is just available on this app that just came out, only for the solo. So, I think there is a lot to explore in Maracaibo. Alright, thanks for sticking with me, and have a good night or day. If you're not following the channel already, uh, if you want to, just follow me, just so that I know that you're there. I also have a YouTube channel, I might upload this video over there too, just so that you can watch it whenever you want. Alright guys, have a good day or night, and see you next time, Myers out.